Hey, what's going on everyone? NECA here. Hope you all having a wonderful day today so far. I know I am. And today, as you guys can tell from the background, right under here specifically, we are back on MW2 with a client version of it on PC known as IW4X. Instead of playing on the SNR servers, I'm actually going to be playing in some private match today using the Serpentine mod made by my guy Foxus. You guys can see his Twitter at right down there in the corner. I'm also going to be leaving it in the description below. Huge shout out to him for hooking me up with this mod. If you guys want to try it yourself, unfortunately, Serpentine 1.6 is a paid version, but there is a free version as well, Serpentine 1.6. Four. Obviously, the paid versions are better, like 1.6 and 1.8, but 1.4 is a good way to see if you like it or not. So I'll be making sure to leave his links in the description below so you can get it from him. You can also see his app down there in the bottom right corner of the screen. But today, boys, the reason we're in Prive Match is I actually got a special type of video for you. I could have recorded this in SNR, but it would have taken way too long and I wouldn't have been able to have it out in time. And the reason that I say out in time is because this is actually a Halloween special video. You guys are going to be seeing it on Halloween, day of October 31st. Now, you're probably wondering, how are you going to incorporate Halloween and IW4X like Call of Duty trick shotting. Those two don't really go hand in hand, but I got an answer for you guys. So the first thing I got for you guys is actually some custom Halloween camos. You guys can see here if I scroll through. Not all of them are custom, but I'll explain why later in the video. But yeah, we got some custom Halloween camos here. And not only that, but you guys are gonna see when I load the game, we're not gonna be playing on normal MW2 maps. Well, we are. We're gonna be playing on the normal maps, but something about them is a little bit different. But since it's Halloween after all, we're gonna get a little spooky with it and we're gonna turn the lights off, meaning there's gonna be no sun in the sky. We're completely removing it and it's gonna be all nighttime maps. I don't know how this is going to look on a lot of the maps because obviously MW2, most of the maps are based during the day, but hey, we'll see. I would try it on a nighttime map like Fake and a Storm, but hey, let's be real, those maps suck. And if we can turn a daytime map to nighttime anyway, why would we even bother? So yeah, now that I explained what's going on in today's video, we're about to get into the action. First, I'm going to start off by showing you guys the camos. And then after that, I'm going to hop into a game, well, eight different games, and try to hit eight different shots with eight different camos. So it's definitely going to be an action-packed video. There's going to be a bunch of nasty shots for you guys. None of them are going to be the same either. Like once I hit a shot, I'm going to do a totally different different shot for the next one it's gonna be pretty dope also if you guys are interested in this halloween camo pack i mean it's not gonna be halloween tomorrow so i don't know why you would be but if you are i'm gonna be leaving the download link in the description below keep in mind i did not make this pack i actually took three packs from youtube from jd fright and zorix and i took the best camos from each and put them into one so shout out to them for making the original camos all their links will be down below in the description so yeah without further ado let's get into that action now if you guys do enjoy the video please make sure to drop a like rating on it and also drop a comment in the comment section below let me know your favorite shot or camo in today's video is Oh, and one last thing before we get into the trick shotting action, guys. Happy Halloween. Even if you don't celebrate it or go out or trick or treat or whatever, I hope you all have a great day regardless. All right, I've done enough talking, boys. Let's get it. Oh, yeah, before I start the first game, let me actually show you guys the camos that we're going to be using today. So here, let me go into my snipers real quick. All right, so the first camo, which replaces desert, is this like pumpkin camo with some fall leaves on it. It says boo. It's like orange color. Pretty dope. You can't really get more Halloween or fall theme than that. But moving on to the replacement for Arctic, we just got this like all black camo with a scream mask on top of it. Honestly, I think all black camo on the intervention looks fire either way. So throwing on the masks on top is a nice little touch. I already know this one's going to look good. But moving on to the replacement for Woodland, we got this one. It's just a solid orange finish, but it got some black bats on it. I think this one should look pretty dope in game. Pretty simple camo moving on we got the replacement for a digital which oh this one's dope we got some bloody knives and machetes on it and then we got the masks on it as well shout out my guy jason and if you actually read the text that's backwards there it says casper spell i never watched the movies i know i know but yeah i don't know who casper is or what his spell is or anything but if you guys know make sure to let me know in the comment section below anyways moving on to the replacement for urban we got Oh, nice. It's just Urban. So this one actually doesn't have a preview in the main menu, but if I do end up putting it on my class and then I load into the game, it will be there in game. But the maker of the pack, JD, didn't actually make one for the main menu. It's all good, though. Oh, yeah. If I didn't mention it before, I'm actually using three different people's custom camo packs in this video. All I did was search up on YouTube IW4X Halloween custom camo pack, and I didn't really expect to see anything, but there was actually three different videos. So huge shout out to Fright, JD, and Zorix for making all the camos you guys are gonna see in today's video. Unfortunately, though, like I said, JD didn't include the menu previews but it's all good shout out to him either way i forget what this one actually is so we're gonna have to see in game but moving on to the replacement for blue tiger we got this like satanic star looking one well i guess they're not satanic because they're not flipped upside down but yeah we got the pentagram camo on an all black finish that one should look pretty dope in game who knows boys if i had a dope enough shot with that one i might even be able to join genesis but moving on we're going on to the replacement for red tiger this one's trippy it has like a few candles on it eyeballs skulls caskets i don't know the design of that 
one that was pretty dope not gonna lie and then moving on to the last camo once again boys we can't actually see what this one is because it's from jd's pack so it just shows a picture of fall but we're actually gonna be hitting a shot with all eight of these camos today so don't worry you guys are gonna see what the fall and urban ones are once we get into a game and speaking of getting into a game we're about to do that now i'm just trying to decide what map i want to show you guys the nighttime sky on like there's so many i could do we could do favela with a nighttime sky high rise i'm sure will look dope but i think we're actually gonna start from the top and do afghan since i gotta hit eight shots in this video anyway i'll have the chance to show off eight different maps so we'll definitely get in all the fan favorites but yeah let's start on afghan loading up now so i've yet to see what afghan with the nighttime sky looks like boys but let's check it out i'm gonna pick my team pick my class that's the desert camo and oh my god here it is boys i'm not gonna lie i thought it was gonna be pitch black so it's kind of cool that it's like dark blue and you can kind of still see the clouds and stuff instead of just straight black oh wait we actually got a moon up there too i do gotta say though it's kind of weird how there's still shadows on the map like it looks like the sun is still in the sky even though there's a moon there so like all the mountains and stuff are lit up like the sun but as you guys can tell that is definitely not the case oh yeah boys i forgot to mention something but if it isn't obvious enough already i don't have a bot to trick shot on or anything so i'm gonna have to be using the mod menu for this video i'm gonna have to do spawn bot put him right about there actually you know what maybe right about there yeah that seems about right i'm gonna crouch and hit left d-pad to save my position so then when i crouch and hit down d-pad i just teleport back up here and this should make my life a lot easier trying to hit this shot oh yeah one last thing this menu actually does have aimbot in it too or eb explosive bullets but i'm not gonna put it on as you guys can see from the kill feed aimbot range is off i'm not gonna put it on unless i need to like I said, I am going to be hitting 8 shots for this video, so I don't want to be here all day. But I'm going to try for a little bit to try to hit it with no aimbot. And then if I really need the EB, I guess I'll throw it on. But I'll let you guys know beforehand. I'm not just going to like scheme and throw it on without telling you guys. And without further ado, let's get into the trick shotting action. Oh, that's the shot right there. That's literally the exact shot. Dude, if I hit that already, that would have been dope. But, oh, now I'm failing it. Ah, nope. I need to get off the first fade. Or the... I need to get the reload knack off. Yeah, the first one. Not like... Not like I'm doing there. Ooh, the daily after, though? Oh, yeah. I didn't really peep this camo yet. It looks pretty dope, though, as I'm checking it out. I can see the pumpkins definitely pretty obviously. Can't see the leaves or the boo as much, but... I don't know. Maybe on a different sniper. Maybe the intervention is not the one for this camo. Oh, this is the shot. Dude, that was the perfect combo. Come on. Oh, come on. Dude, these shots should be hitting. You know what, guys? I think I'm just going to cut to when I finally do end up hitting the shot. Because like I said, I have eight to hit. And I don't want to be sitting here for too long just boring you guys with attempts. All right, boys. So I'm going to cut to the shot now. I don't know how much longer this is going to take me. But wish me luck, boys. Wait. Oh, imagine I hit it right there. Ah, right, yeah, guys. Wish me luck. Oh, come on yes let's go boys dude you guys don't even realize how long this took me to hit i've probably been sitting here like 40 minutes at this point for a fucking simple private match shot dude the reload knack to the empty pistol cock shot glide silent shot yes dude finally boys that was actually pretty sick not gonna lie that means i can finally get off this map and the game real quick hit it with the slash disconnect and let's see what map we're moving on to next boys you know what boys it just automatically picked rust for us so i think this is a map we're gonna do for the second game i'm gonna load it up now and let's just get this one over with quick i actually wonder how this one's gonna look i think the mountain could mess it up like the outer map mountain it might look really weird either that or it could look really good but let's check it out right about now okay whoa this is already looking kind of promising like i said though the mountain is definitely pretty obvious but wait it's kind of looking better than afghan already let's see okay okay it's definitely like a little obvious that there's mountains out there but and the sun is right there but yo i'm not gonna lie i like this one more than afghan i think it looks pretty dope and wait what the hell why isn't my camo working this camera is supposed to be uh like the scream masks all over it or the ghost face yeah, look right there in the class and you can see the uh, the ghost face. Let me turn my face cam off real quick so you guys can see what I mean. Like, what the hell? It's not showing up in game. All right, guys. So after doing a bunch of testing, I realized that the mod I'm using, which is Serpentine 1.6 by Foxes, you actually can't use Arctic camo or any replacement for Arctic camo. It automatically just gives you this all black one. 
So I'm gonna have to revisit that camo at the very end and go out of order. I'm gonna be skipping Arctic and going on to the one for Woodland. But like I said, I'll revisit it at the end. So yeah, which camo replaces Woodland? It was the bats, right? So yeah, the Ranger class. Okay, okay, this one is a little more vibrant. Kind of a good one for Rust, I'd say. What do I wanna go for with this class though? Actually, you know what? I, I know exactly what I wanna go for. Let me get a class with attack insert. Let me place this tack down quick and then change over to that. Get the sea lion. There we go. And now if I sea lion, it'll cancel really quickly. All right, let me spawn in a bot real quick and put him right about Alto's M9. All right, I'm gonna put him right there. We should be good. And yo, I don't really see anyone go for this glitch anymore. It's called like the rising gun glitch or the lowered gun glitch. It was big back in like 2012. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it though. And who knows, maybe we can bring it back in a style. It basically looks like a reverse cowboy, but what you're gonna do is you are going to uh, shoot one bullet out of your ranger akimbo. So like you can righty tighty with it and you're gonna get the actual righty tighty if I can do it. And you're gonna lay prone, hold the reload button. So hold X and the shoot button and move your analog stick back and forth so look down at my controller cam in the bottom left if you guys need like an idea of how to do it and then you'll see your like ranger start shooting rapidly like this it goes absolutely crazy and then when you switch back over to your intervention it slowly 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 rises up until it's at the normal position again i think it's because of like the recoil of the rangers or whatever but yeah this is the shot i'm actually gonna be going for today so let's hope i can hit this I'm gonna go for a, hold on, a rising gun glitch. And then as it's rising, I'm gonna do a quad claymore. Oh, that'd be dope. Cause if you guys see the claymore is actually, well, let me do it again. There we go. I should be getting it enough. If you guys don't know, the longer you do this, the lower your gun will be. So yeah, I think it should be out of the screen right now. There we go. And if I hold a claymore, you guys can see the claymores are actually lower too. Like the position I'm holding them. And if you're holding out an equipment, it doesn't like slowly rise up. It just stays in the same position. So here, let me try to hit something with this real quick, like a quad claymore sea lion or something. Oh, I guess I didn't have the sea lion. I don't know. I could have sworn I did, but. Oh, there we go. I do have it. I just realized though that the shot I'm going for, it kind of defeats the purpose of using a custom camo because it's a lowered gun shot and when the gun's rising, you like can't even see the camo. But this shot, like the rising gun doesn't show in the kill cam. So you will be able to see the, um, no way boys. I literally just hit that while I was talking about it with the lowered ranges after. Look, look, you'll be able to see right here. You can see it. Okay, there we go. Wait, I didn't even get the C line like I thought I did. I kind of failed the shot, but yo, I hit that so quick, I don't even care. You guys can see the camo and the kill cam and all that. There we go, boys. I'm hyped I hit that quick. Kind of sucks about the C lines, but oh well. Let's end this game and let's get the hell off this map. Let's get on to the next shot already. All right, now that we got rust and woodland camo out of the way, even though it wasn't totally the shot I was going for, whatever, we're gonna move on. We're gonna go to digital camo, which is Oh yeah, it's the Jason one with uh, machetes all over it. All right, I'm down for that class. And now what map do I want to play? I'm thinking something brown that'll like match that camo. Oh, we could do high rise. We haven't got to do that yet. Oh, actually, you know what? Nah, I'm feeling a state. I want to hit a bounce on a state with the wrist twist. Yeah, that's my shot. All right, time to start this bitch up. I don't know what I'm hitting yet. Wrist twist or righty tighties or something with that Kembo. And here is a state with the nighttime sky. Oh, with the chrome pistols too. That actually looks pretty dope. Not gonna lie. Uh, This one kind of looks like it belongs. Like... Obviously, the mountain has like a little bit of like light on it over there, but I don't know. And like this building is lit up a little bit, but it kind of works like without the shadows and all that. So where do I want to go from? I can go for this little bounce in the middle over here, do something from there. I go from the bounce back there. You know what? I think I'm going to go for this bounce right here. I never really hit it. So let me spawn in a bot. Oh, we got the OG crew guy again. Okay. And where do I want to put him? I'm thinking probably like against the house right about there. Yeah, that should look good, except he's inside. Okay, we're good, we're good. Now, what do I want to do for a shot? I could do like a fake shot, righty tighty, righty tighty. Oh, okay, that could be it. Did you get more ammo already though? God damn. All right, so I'm gonna do a little righty tighty to double wrist twist. Man, I need to hit the bounce though. All right, so I'm gonna do a little righty tighty to double wrist twist. Don't tell me I failed a wrist twist there and I almost hit it too. I hit the glass right next to him. Righty tighty, double wrist twist. Like he fell in the front. I hit and I failed the first wrist. Wow, I can't even talk. I hit and I failed the first wrist twist. There we go. I think I did at least. Righty tighty. How do I fail a wrist twist, dude? I hit that so quick too. I can't believe I got to hit this again. Damn it. Oh, wait. 
Oh, yo, boys. I swear on everything. I just thought of that shot. That was my first attempt going for it. I know the shot isn't very distant at all. But, dude, the midair righty tighty knife cancel. Righty tighty knack would have been dope out of that. But, boys, there it is. That was literally so quick. I probably only went for like three attempts in between those two shots I hit. So I'm actually pretty hyped about that, not gonna lie. And on that note, it's time to get off this map already, and let's go on to the next one. Dude, we are making good progress on this video. I'm literally zooming through it. Alright, now that we're off the digital camo, what camo do we got up next? We got the... Oh yeah, we got the urban one. I actually forget which one this is, because like I can't see it, obviously, in game. I just see the normal urban camo. But fuck it, I guess I'll throw it on my class, change up my secondary a little bit, and see what it looks like in game. But what map should we play next? You know what? Fuck it, boys. Let's see what Karachi looks like. This one normally has like a pink, reddish sky so it's gonna be questionable looking with the dark blue sky but hey it could be cool i'm actually gonna switch it up this time around too instead of using the intervention i'm gonna use the barrett fmj and then whatever this urban camo is i don't know which one it's gonna be like i said well here we are boys we're on karachi with the dark blue sky this one looks pretty weird because all the buildings are pretty well lit up by like the sun or wherever the sun's supposed to be we got the moon on this map and i don't know everything just kind of has that like red pink cc on it and then with the sky being dark blue, it doesn't really look right. But I mean, shit, it looks cool at least. Oh, wait, I just realized what the camo is, boys. We got um orange tiger or like tiger camo from BO1. This is actually like the exact BO1 camo. This one is pretty sick. I low-key feel like it could have gone better on the intervention, but hey, whatever. I'm going to spawn in the bot right now. And this one, boys, is going to be another quick one. I'm not going for anything too distant. I'm just going to put the guy right here on the edge and just go for this little shot over the wall because, well, I don't got all day. So I'm gonna shoot out all my ammo to do the still swap this way because uh, I'm a total new gem when it comes to still swapping and then something like that. I don't know, but shoot on obviously. All right, let's see this. Okay, a little running man would be cool with it. Instead of a glide, I could definitely do that. Oh, dude, how am I this lucky today, boys? You guys are gonna think I'm bullshitting and just, I'm using the good stuff or something, but nah, look at this. Literally, dude, still swap running man and there it is boys i'm literally just shooting on or something even though it kind of looked like i shot off in the kill cam what the hell but now we are finally moving off this map boys time to hit it with the uh, leave game and then the young slash disconnect and we are out of there all right boys well the replacement for urban is actually pretty dope like the bo1 tiger looking camo low-key might use that outside of the halloween pack but moving on we're gonna go on to the replacement for blue tiger which is actually Oh yeah, the Genesis Collective camo, the Satanic Stars, the Pentagrams. Actually, you know what? On this one, I think I'm gonna throw on Thermoscope and then throw on the camo. So if you guys don't know what that'll do, it actually makes it so the camo shows up on the scope too, like on the outside of the scope instead of just on the actual gun. And you know what? This is kind of an OGK style class, so I think I'm gonna go for like an OGK style shot, which means I'm gonna do a little more distance. I'm gonna put it on Quarry, and you guys are gonna see where I'm gonna put him. But in the meantime, let's check out the nighttime sky. You know, I don't know what to think of how Quarry's gonna look yet, because I know that most of the blocks on this map are like pretty heavily lit up by the sun and it's like a pretty light map like pretty bright but um okay it's actually looking kind of normal so far like obviously these should be lit up by the sun but in five seconds we'll see what it actually looks like when it's not black and white and here we go okay the weird looking part of this map is actually the trees and like i guess the buildings up there but not even really the buildings it's more or less like the trees we got the moon there for the lighting the moon there for the lighting actually like makes it look like it's lighting all of this up. I don't know, it doesn't actually look that off. Oh, what's up, Joe? Sorry, didn't see you there. Anyways, boys, let's get up to top trick shot now. Oh wait, first, let's admire this camo. I'm gonna do it right in the moonlight. I'm gonna shoot and reload. Looks pretty good, not gonna lie. It kinda looks like a little like topographical wave design before you shoot and reload. Well, kinda. But then you shoot and reload and you can definitely tell what it is on the gun. But anyways, boys, I'm actually gonna be trying to hit this across map trick shot from up there, like jumping out that window and less spinning it all the way to the guy in that window. So here, let me spawn in a bot quick and actually put him there. Use code NECA, of course, for 10 to 30% off your G Fuel purchases. 10% right now. Let me do save to crosshairs. Uh, come on. Let's get him right there. That should be good. Wish he had uh, no cold blooded on so I could actually see him with my thermal, but whatever. Now let me get up top and save my position. And yeah. All right, boys. So the shot I'm going to be going for, like I said, I got him in that window right there. And I'm literally just going to be like doing a little pistol swap and then Johnny F it like that over the top or attempting to. Oh, that's not going to hit anytime soon, dude. I'm shooting the glass down here. This isn't looking too good. Oh, okay. That's a little more promising. I already know this one's definitely going to take the longest, though. 
Uh, maybe. I don't know. I'm kind of shooting on. Look at me. Already needed more ammo, dude. I know this is literally going to take me, like, all day. Honestly, don't even know why I'm going this distance in the middle of the video. Like, I should be saving this for the last shot or something. But, you know what, boys? Fuck it. Wait. Did you guys just hear those explosive barrels blow up? There's no way. I need to go all the way over here real quick to where he is. This explosive barrel is up top where he is, like in the window that he's next to if i hit those and blew those up dude i don't even know what to say like i didn't hit any of those ones so um let's see did i wait are they still up here i think there's a barrels up here right oh no it's still here okay i didn't hit that one i thought for a second damn i don't know if i want to do like a johnny f and then unscope like that or if i want to do a johnny f and scope both of them like ah uh, that was kind of an ugly attempt at it but like bad okay need to shoot a little more on but i think that could actually hit and definitely not that. Dude, I'm running out of ammo again. This is literally the third time I'm gonna have to refill my ammo. You know what, boys? I think I'm just gonna show you the shot at this point. I'm just gonna grind it out legit. I don't know how many attempts I showed you guys, but however long it takes me to hit, I'm gonna hit it. So yeah, without further ado, I'm gonna refill my ammo real quick, and then I'm gonna cut to the shot. So hopefully you guys think it's sick. Oh, there we go, dude. Finally, boys. You guys don't even realize how long this took me. Wait, why am I in spectator? Okay, it shows a red name. <laughs> whatever, I guess I hit this as a spectator or as an enemy or whatever. But, dude, finally, guys, you don't even understand. Like, that took me how long? Yeah, 39 minutes, 23 seconds I've been here. But, hey, we finally hit it. I can finally get off this map now. End game slash disconnect. What do we get into next? I'm already ready for it. I'm not gonna lie, boys. When I was just going for that shot on quarry, it got me in the rhythm of save and loading and just like continuously loading my position up top. And it made me think of a shot concept. So I'm gonna move it over to high rise real quick. And I'm gonna see if this shot concept is possible. Just know if this shot is possible, I'm brewing up an absolute banger for you guys right now. But uh, what's the next camo I got in the rotation? We just did a blue tiger. So it's gonna be red tiger, which is, oh yeah, this is the one with like the caskets and the hand and the candles and the skull. With all the cool little sketches on it okay i fuck with this one but yeah let's go into a private match and let's see if this works if it does oh i got a banger on the way boys but first let's actually see how nighttime high rise looks i'm kind of uh kind of intrigued let me look out the window okay it's looking dope from out of the window oh it's actually kind of looking dope from just normal too obviously the lighting isn't perfect like with the sunlight over on those buildings and like the shadows over here but besides for all the shadows and like the outer map buildings dude i just like the vibe of nighttime maps way more like nighttime high rise kind of a vibe not gonna lie all right so as you guys can see right now i'm actually not using the right camo or the right class i'm using the barrack class that i hit the shot with on karachi and the reason for that is i actually needed a normal pistol not a rafika because i'm actually gonna try to get the lineup for this elevator which i only know with the pistol so here, let me do this real quick. And then my goal is basically right when I get the elevator, I'm going to save my position on the bottom. So every time I load my position, I just automatically start going up and I don't have to get the Ellie every time. So yeah, hopefully that works. How do I save my position again? I think it's crouch and left D-pad. Okay, so I saved it like halfway up. I would rather do it uh, a little bit lower, but let's see if it worked. Oh yeah, I literally start going up every time. Okay, you know what? I can work with that. I can definitely work with that. Now let me change back over to the class I was trying to use, which was... Uh, this one. Oh, this camo actually looks dope on this map too let me get it with the reload real quick in the sunlight or if there is sunlight i don't know the moonlight i mean all right now that i'm in the light let's check it out uh it's i not gonna lie i like how it just normally looks but you can't really tell anything on it like i can't really tell well you can see some eyes but i can't really make out the casket or the hand or the candles or anything like that but hey fuck it we don't need to the camo looks dope regardless all right boys so if i did everything correctly right when i hit crouch and down d-pad i should teleport to like halfway up that ellie and i can just start going for my combo basically right away so let's see oh and here we are we have done it correctly hey good to know all right i think i'm probably gonna put him like right on the corner of the helipad because it's not too far i could put him on the corner of nah this isn't far enough yeah helipad for sure all right now the hardest part which is actually coming up with a combo so i'm thinking i'm probably gonna do something with zoom loads because if you guys don't know while you're going up the ellie you can't run at all like if you run here let me show you it just knocks you right off the ellie and you land back down here but with zoom loads and burst loads you don't actually have to run at all so i'm probably like i said gonna do one of those Oh, that would have been dirty. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna go for that. Double burst load and running man glide. Oh, but not land on that. That would suck if I land on that. 
No, okay, I need to go like a little higher up and jump out or something because I do not want to land back down here if I'm grinding out this elevator. Yeah, I need to get pushed off of it like that. That is perfect. Okay, need to wait till I go to the very top. Come on now. Dude, how? Dude, these are literally hitting. Man. No. Boys, I have been trick shotting here for an hour and 23 minutes at this point, And I finally hit the Ellie. I fucked up the actual whole shot I was going for. And I was like freestyled this shot. And of course, that's the shot that hits, dude. Of course, that's the one where I land back up top. And I literally have to hit this shot again now because I'm not going to be satisfied with that one. Fuck, boys, that really sucks. I'm not going to lie. You know what? For this one, I think I just got to do it since it took me so damn long to hit that without EB. I think I just got to throw it on, boys. Toggle EB strength. Close. I'm not even doing super close, boys. We're going close this time around. And, oh, yeah, I got to throw on the lag menu as well so I can burst load real quick. Hold on. Where would that be? Lag menu 5,000. Here we go. Boys, I'm not even gonna lie. Even with close EB, I can't hit this right now. Like, what the? I don't know. Cursed ass elevator or something. Dude, I shot a little low on that one, but come on. How doesn't that hit, yo? I might have to make the aimbot higher than close, because if you ask me, that was pretty damn close. That was too, but maybe not. I don't know. What I should have done is crosshair. That definitely would have hit already because he's definitely been in my crosshairs and it doesn't even matter because I finally hit with close. Boys, I know I had to use EB for this one, but you don't even realize how long I went for it without EB. Pretty cool shot concept. The little full reload, double burst load, running man. Looked pretty dope too. I fuck with that shot. All right, guys, we'll grind on that shot for over an hour and a half. It was fun and all, but uh, I need to move on and hit my shots with the last two camos because... I still, I think that was the replacement for Red Tiger, right? Now I still need to hit with the Fall camo replacement, and then I need to go back and do the Arctic camo replacement, because I couldn't do it earlier, because obviously you guys saw it wouldn't work. So let me hit it with the slash disconnect. All right, boys, so since that high-rise alley just took me so long to hit, and the quarry shot right before that, I'm just going to make it easy on myself this time around, give myself a reward for finally hitting those shots. Well, even though I had to use the good stuff, you know what I mean? And we're going to go to a nice easy shot. We're going to do the mid-map bounce on D-Rail. And obviously, I'm going to be moving on to the next camo as well. So let me pick this class. Let me go Intervention. And then we just finished up Red Tiger, which was like this casket, hand, eyeball, candle, like the sketch one. And we're going to be moving on to the replacement for Fall now. Unfortunately, I don't even know what this camo is because in the menu, it just shows the Fall camo. Like, I can't see what the custom replacement is. But I'm going to throw it on and I'm going to load up the game right now. And once we get in the game, I'll be able to see it on the gun, obviously. It's just not in the main menu. All right. Oh, D-Rail is actually already looking cool. But I'm going to pick my class real quick. And then, yeah, I'm liking the look of this so far. I wonder how it's going to look, though, with the trees. I feel like the trees are going to be, like, the one thing that really throws it off with the lighting. But maybe the mountains oh wait oh my god yo this actually looks beautiful like the mountains and trees obviously like they have shadows on them from the sunlight so it looks a little off like obviously there's no shadows and sunlight during the night besides that this kind of looks beautiful like i don't know i really like how this looks to be honest it's a little off over there but fuck it and like i said i'm gonna be going for a nice easy shot this time around the nice simple bounce here in the middle really can't miss this bounce at all like i can just hit it basically every try watch i'm gonna miss it now that i said that oh my god i am down bad right now guys but uh let me spawn in the bot all right so there we go i put him right there and now let me get up top here save my position and i'm gonna start going for this bounce so the shot that i'm actually gonna be going for i'm gonna need some lag to do so i'm gonna go to the lag menu put it on like 5,000. and now can i oh yeah i can wild scope perfectly if you guys don't know what a wild scope is it's basically like when you zoom load and then you knife at the exact same time like that so i'm gonna be going for one of those onto the bounce like right oh like that and then triple fake silent shot off and try to hit the guy standing right there this one i won't need to be for or anything because he's pretty close well i hope not at least so all right Wild scope. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to need EB for this. I'm hitting this in no time. Oh, well, that was not supposed to happen. I guess I just hit, though. I didn't even mean to hit that. So what I did right there, I just did a normal zoom load. I don't think I got the wild scope. Then I did a fake silent shot through the knife and then lined it up. That was actually kind of cool, but not what I was going for. 
But you know what? Since I already used my luck with ODB, I'm going to go for the shot like five times. The one I was going for. And then if I can't hit it, I'll just hit the wild scope shot with EB. Well, I hit it without the fucking wild scope. There we go, boys. I mean, you know what? I think I'm going to try to hit it again with the wild scope real quick. But hey, finally, what it's supposed to look like in kill cam at least. Because wild scopes don't show in kill cam either. Pretty nice, not gonna lie. But you know what, boys? I promised you a wild scope, so I'm giving you a wild scope. But I didn't say I'm giving you a wild scope with no EB. I'm actually gonna crank it up to like um medium. There we go. And I'm gonna hit this real quick for you guys on medium. Man, it happened again, dude. I'm so sick of this. I'm just skipping through the kill cam at this point. And there it is. If I don't, wait, I just got the round end repeater. But if I don't get this fucking wild scope soon, you know what, boys? I think I might just take it. If I got the zoom load in all three fake silent shots, I will take that. I don't even care. I'm happy with it. But just because you guys deserve it, I'm throwing on EB everywhere and I'm hitting this fucking wild scope, man. I'm determined. Oh, wait, I can't even shoot a bullet out. Oh, wait, I already shot a bullet out. We are good. We are good. There we go, boys. I shot off a little bit, but I don't even care. This is the shot that I've been trying to hit the whole time. You guys finally get to see like the plus 50 version of it with the kill cam. One, two, and three. You know what? That hit totally. Just, yeah, whatever. Oh my god. I don't know if you guys can tell what I did there or not, but I literally accidentally tabbed out of my game in midair. This was actually sick. Look, dude. Tabbed out of my game as I threw the knife. Tabbed back in. Oh my god. That was actually... That was actually pretty fucking clean. I don't even think it's gonna show what I did though. Like when I tab out. Because it only clips the actual game. So you guys aren't even gonna be able to see. But just know that that was actually insane. Now it's time to finally get off this map. Dude, I've seen so much of D-Rail. I've seen so much of Quarry. I've seen so much of High Rise. I don't know which map I want to do for the last one. We got... Oh, there's two good maps left we haven't done. We haven't done Favela. And we haven't done terminal but i'm definitely gonna do one of them you know what i think i'm gonna do terminal though because the sky is so open on this one there's not a bunch of stuff in the background like the statue on favela and all the other stuff it's just a nice clear open sky so yeah fuck it let's check out what terminal looks like and what class do i have to use oh yeah i actually have to use the arctic class so i have to figure out how to make that work real quick as you guys can see the arctic camo replacement is the ghost face one with all the scream faces on it but i have to probably replace it with another camo so that i can use it in private match with this mod so yeah i'm gonna do that real quick and cut to the terminal game but when the terminal game loads up you guys will see me using this camo right here the arctic replacement all right and here's the moment of truth let's see how terminal looks boys as you guys can see i got the camo working but oh my god boys this is something else right here this actually kind of looks dope like Obviously the lighting and the sun, same problem as the rest of the maps, but like this doesn't have any mountains or anything. It's got the trees out there, but besides that, this actually kind of looks natural. I mean, I wish it was a little darker, but whatever. Also, I don't know if you guys can hear right now, but outside of my window, it is going crazy with the rain and thunder and lightning and all that. So I'm just gonna try to hit this shot real quick before my power goes out. Cause like there's a bunch of wind too. There's trees going crazy out there. I don't want to risk it. So I'm not going to go for anything too crazy. I think I'm just going to put the guy right here on cop car or on the corner of it. Uh, spawn bot. And then, wait, am I stuck right here? Oh, we're good. We're good. And let me put him right about there. There we go. It looks pretty normal from here when you're going for a shot. But then if you look up, look how dark it is. And you got the moon right there. And then the like nighttime sky out there. Honestly, I'm going to break the glass so like you don't get the... Yeah, it looks way more like nighttime if the glass is actually broken. But yeah, boys, basically I got the guy right there. And I'm just going to be going for a little Adelia ladder stall if I can hit the ladder. And just trying to hit him right about there. Damn it, dude. I can't even hit the ladder right now. And I do hit the ladder and then... Man, dude, I've been grinding shots for hours. The fact that I just hit a shot first try, and that happens to me. I failed the shot, and I hit first try. Like, nice. Come on, that's literally just my luck. Dude, I wish I had that luck on High Rise at Quarry, though, or even D-Rail when I was grinding that shot out. Nice, boys. That only took, like, what, 10 minutes? Yeah, it only took 10 minutes, but I ended up hitting it again without the Dahlia. I just need to get the Dahlia and the Ladder Stall and make it perfect, and... Yeah, that's gonna be the shot. Wait, I just thought of something else. Hold on. Reload Catwalk. Reload Knack. Oh my god, if I can pull that off without landing. That shot is sick. 
No, boys, that would have been perfect. Well, kinda. I landed a little bit, but. No, come on. I need to make this a little bit better. No, come on. Nice, I didn't even hit the ladder. Come on, I don't think I hit the ladder again, but back to back tries with the reload neck. Man, I just hit this damn ladder. Oh my god, and I do both and I just don't hit him. Man, can I shoot on? Oh my god, I'm struggling, boys. A little bit higher. Man, every time I don't hit the ladder, I get this reload knack. Hey, thank you for the follow, uh, Shanak19. I'm not even live right now, I'm just recording, but shout out to them for following me, like, in the middle of the day. Oh, no, that one would have been it. Dude, literally every time I don't hit the ladder, I get the reload knack. What is going on right now? Oh, why didn't I shoot? Oh my god. Every time. Every single time. Dude, no, boys. I've been here for an hour and 23 minutes now at this point. Literally, one, two, three. I got the Dahlia, missed the ladder, and hit the shot. Like, dude, I have actually the worst luck you can possibly have right now. I just... Oh, this is frustrating. No, just connect, man. A little higher, Matt. <gasps> Come on, boys. I think I actually got to throw on the EB for this one. Like, I really did not want it considering he's right here, but I got to do at least super close. Come on. I'm getting robbed right now. I haven't done it yet, but... Oh my god, I should have though. Actually, I didn't even hit ladder, so it's all good. No, that literally hit. Boys, I gotta throw on the EB, I'm sorry. And super close. There we go, boys. Wish me luck now. All right, boys. Quick menu. Toggle EB strength. Super close. That's what we needed. There we go. Dude, even on super close, boys, I don't know what to do anymore. You know it's getting bad when I have to refill my pistol ammo where I fucking 90 clips of it. I don't know if I hit the ladder there, to be honest, boys. I think I finally hit the shot with the super close EB, but I don't know if I hit the ladder, and if I didn't, I'm gonna cry. No, I like barely tapped it even if I did. And I landed. No, boys, this fucking sucks. Dude, first round. Or I mean, first try of this round, so I don't have EB on, but fuck, man. You know what, boys? This time I gotta crank the EB up even more just because I wanna hit it again, and I've been here for way too long. Like, I'm here an hour 31 minutes right now, so we're gonna go close this time around. No, close is not enough, apparently. Oh, come on, even on close, dude. Bro! There we go, boys. Finally. I think I even landed a little bit, but I don't care. I'm happy with this one. I got the cat or reload catwalk onto the ladder stall. Then reload knack off. Over the shoulder. Perfect. Oh, I kind of why wide. I didn't over the shoulder, but I don't even care. Even if I hard landed, fuck it. Honestly. What I should have done was throw on kill cam only soft lands and just fake the soft land. But you know what? Fuck it. We're out here doing everything legit, boys. Well, not everything legit. I mean, we are using aimbot kind of. But with that being said, we literally just hit eight plus shots. I think it's probably like over 10 actually with all the fails we hit. You guys don't even understand how long it has grinded to try to hit all those shots for you guys and make them as legit as possible without using EB. I know I had to for a few of them, but boys, I've been here for like six hours at this point. Six hours recording a private match video on October 30th, which means this video is going up tomorrow. Now I got to edit it 
it so i hope you guys understand why i had to throw in the eb shots but with that being said i'm finally done recording this halloween special so i can slash disconnect and get the hell out of that game boys and yeah that's gonna be a wrap in today's video thank you guys so much for watching and to anyone who's new to my channel i hope you enjoy the video enough to consider subscribing with post notifications on if you guys are wondering on how you can stay more connected or up to date with me i'm gonna be leaving all my links down below in the description that's gonna include my twitter which i'm active on so much daily so make sure to go follow me over there if you don't yet my discord my twitch my second channel my tiktok i'm active on all of them pretty regularly so if you do enjoy my content and want to stay connected please make sure to go check them out and show some love oh yeah one last thing anyone who's new to my channel that might want to know more about me personally and not just like my clips i will be doing a q a soon for you guys over on twitter so make sure to go follow me over there like i said if you haven't yet but if you just have a quick question you want a quick answer to i do try to read every single message in my twitch chat and reply to it so if you ever see me live come stop by my chat ask a question and i'll answer it to the best of my abilities but yeah i'll catch you guys tomorrow with another banger upload peace out everyone parallel neck out